If you've been looking for a practical family car, which does a bit of everything, looks good, can carry five people comfortably, and is pretty good off-road, then have you considered this? This is the MSRT Ford Ranger. And I'm gonna tell you today why I think it's just as good, if not better, than some family SUVs that you can buy. So if that sounds good, then please keep watching. And if you like new car reviews and car content, then hit that subscribe button. Also, if at any point you have any more questions or queries about the MRST, then follow the link below and Ford in Dunton will be happy to help you out. Okay, so who is MSRT? Those initials might already be familiar if you're a fast Ford fan. The company is an offshoot of the M Sport Rally team based in South Wales. They're a design-led automotive engineering company specialising in Ford vehicles and born from 30 years of motor racing and rally experience. So essentially, what MSRT have done is they've taken the Ford Ranger wild track and they've pimped it up, but rather tastefully, might I add. From the front, you've got a new grille design. And I also want to note that for 2022, when this vehicle become the limited edition, that also brung a few little extras. And those include the gloss black around the new grille. You've also got a gloss black set of wing mirrors. And you've also got these fantastic orange decals. Now I love these and the guys at Dunsford have said that some people don't like them and have them taken off so that it can be a bit more subtle but I actually think they look fantastic so they would be staying if it was my opinion. So around the front you've got that new grille design which features some chunkier styling. This almost honeycomb design and then as I mentioned you've got the gloss black surround and you've just got that orange stripe that finishes it all off. You've also got a more aggressive front bumper and then you've got those gloss black details around the fog lights as well. You do get LED daytime running lights on this vehicle, you get projector headlights and you also get LED fog lights as well. So the spec is really decent. Now the body kit adaptions continue around the side. Where MSRT have added these flared wheel arches, which make this vehicle look a lot more aggressive. And you might have spotted something. Yep, these are actually the biggest wheels that are fitted to any Ranger, including the top spec Raptor. These are 20 inch OZ racing alloys and how awesome do they look? They also come with some upgraded tires, which are slightly better on the road. They're also in a two-tone design now for 2022 with the limited edition, compared to the standard all one colour that they were before. Again, the details continue down to the rear of the vehicle where you'll find some sculpted door sills. You've also got just a little bit of embossing on the filler cap to let you know this is the MSRT car, uh, as if that wasn't obvious. But if you did take the stickers off, at least it's still got those nice little details. You've also got a sports bar or sports hoop fitted to the MSRT as standard and this gives it a much sleeker look over the Ranger wild track. It comes as a double cab so it's got four full doors which make getting in and out really easy especially if you've got families. It can fit five people, four comfortably, the fifth maybe not so much but I'll show you that once we're inside. Now this vehicle which is here in Dunton is also fitted with the optional electric deployable sidestep. That deployable sidestep definitely makes things easier to get in and out of the Ranger. But actually, once in the back, it's quite comfortable. You've got the same soft leather that you have in the front of the vehicle. You could comfortably fit two adults or three children. However, the middle seat passenger will have to sit up with their legs reasonably high because of the transmission tunnel. There's a decent amount of amenities back here. I've got a pull-out armrest with two cup holders. I've also got a 12 volt charging port. There's no USB, but if you needed to charge a device, there is a three pin charger. And this comes with a practical use. Yes, it can charge devices for children, but also as this is a utility vehicle used for people who may be charging tools, it's really helpful. Around the back, MSRT's subtle differences have made the Ranger look a bit more aggressive, 
but in my opinion it's much more subtle around the back than it is at the front it could have done with a slightly bigger rear diffuser but then again this is still a practical vehicle and i have to remember that and in fact this is far more practical than the raptor which can actually carry less of a payload than the wild track the msrt has not been compromised in any way in the back of this vehicle you can still carry over one ton of wayload which is pretty impressive now those subtle differences you may have noticed is the slightly flared arches here which mean that the rear lights almost sit inwards and you've also got some false little air vents another optional extra fitted to this truck is an electric load cover which can be controlled by simply using the key the total payload of the Ranger is 1,098 kilograms, as well as a towing weight of up to 3,500 kilograms. Inside the Ranger, there's just a few things that let you know this is the MSRT version. Because the Wild Track gets some orange trimmed seats as well, so it's not that standout different. You've got these handcrafted leather seats with also suede detail down the center and then you've got the msrt embossed in them where you'd usually get the wild track logo everything does feel super high quality and might i say especially for a ford because sometimes i can find them to be a little bit plasticky but actually this feels really good You've got a matching leather armrest, which opens up to have a ton of storage inside. These seats are also heated and you do have lumbar support. Um, it is only manual, but at least it's there. And they're also electrically adjusted as well, which is really good actually. Again, that leather wrapped goes to the dashboard as well, feeling high quality. Same orange stitching, which just gives it a bit more of a standout look. On the MSRT, again, you've got this limited edition part, which is wrapped on the dashboard. It's quite cool. It is a bit gimmicky. You might want to take that off and then you've got the standard dashboard underneath. It's completely up to your preference, but at least you have that choice. It's really well equipped as well. You've got dual zone climate control. You've also got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, ambient lighting, satellite navigation as standard, automatic lights, automatic wipers. And the one thing that everybody knows Ford so well for, and that's that quick, clear windscreen, which really is helpful in the winter. But the best detail, which tells you this is the MSRT, can be found in the driver's door sill. So just down here, you've got a nice set of chrome scuff plates and then you've also beside it got a little plaque. Now this will actually tell you which build number your MSRT limited edition Ranger is out of 750 that were built. This one is number four. The Ranger's selectable four-wheel drive system is retained for optimum traction off-road, meaning despite being road biased, it's more than capable to take on all terrain. The MSRT isn't set up for raw off-roading power like you'd get in something like the Raptor. This has the same engine that you'll find in the Wild Track variant, which is the 2-litre turbocharged diesel with 210 brake horsepower. Now that's pretty good, but Ford fans might know that the new generation of Ford Ranger is going to become available with a 3-litre V6 diesel. And a lot of people are going to be excited about that engine and it does get me wondering if it means it will put people off going for the EcoBoost 2 litre for a while. But there's no doubt this is a good engine. It has just enough power to propel the Ford Ranger with not really too much issue. And it's also got a 10 speed automatic gearbox, the same as they put in the Ford Mustang. And that's good as well. It could shift a little quicker, but what do you expect from a truck? But it does get me wondering, would this vehicle be more fun with that V6? Is every vehicle more fun with a V6? Lots of times people will say to me, how do you jump in and out of these vehicles? They're so big, how do you get used to them? And that is true. And if you are concerned about the Ranger perhaps being slightly too big for your everyday needs, 
perhaps you're having this as a singular vehicle which is going to do the heavy duty lifting but also take the kids to school and you're concerned it might be a little bit too large for that i'd say go and take one for a test drive get a feel of it see what you think yes okay it does feel slightly larger of course it's going to out on the road but thanks to the fact that you sit up nice and high it's got really big wing mirrors it's got good visibility out of the rear it's actually pretty easy to maneuver and then the fact that you've got front and rear parking sensors and a rear view camera as long as you pick a space which hasn't got too many cars around it's pretty easy to maneuver I had read online that the Ranger, including the MSRT, can be a little bit noisy on the road. It's not always the most refined. And I'd care to disagree with that. Yes, okay, there's some noise when you really put your foot down from that engine, but what diesel truck doesn't make noise when you put your foot down? But most of the time, it's actually pretty refined and I'm finding it reasonably quiet. And I'm the best test of this as well because I don't have a radio on when I do these videos, but it's actually pretty good. And I think that might have something to do with the materials used. There's a lot of nice leather in this cabin and it definitely soaks up some of the road noise. It comes fitted with a decent amount of safety equipment to make you feel pretty happy. You've got things like traffic sign recognition, you've got anti-collision warning, and also it's got adaptive cruise control, which in a vehicle that you're gonna use to do a bit of everything, I think is pretty essential. I guess the main thing to note about driving the MSRT is if you're looking for a rugged, thrilling drive, then this might not necessarily be the truck for you. You either want to wait for the V6, which is coming later on this year to next, or you wanna go for something like the Raptor if you want that off-roading capability. But if you're looking for a truck which has some on-road refinement and still off-roading capabilities, then this is a great option while still having something which looks striking and just a little bit different. So there we have it. What do you think of the MSRT Ranger? Yes, okay, it is just a wild track with a fancy body kit and a few stickers, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. The wild track is a great all-round truck. It can carry a payload of over one tonne, it can comfortably fit five people, and it's great off-road. So adding some fancy stickers and a bit of a bigger body kit to make this vehicle look more appealing it's pretty good in my books, but I'm not sure it's worth the money over other SUVs if you are mainly looking to have this as a family car. But let's face it, it's going to be much more capable than a family SUV. I mean, what family SUVs can carry one ton in the back? I've really enjoyed my time with the Ranger. If you have enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me on Auto Social UK, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks guys, until next time, see you later.